Mr. Griffin. Could you please say and, and spell your name? Carolyn Willis, C-A-R-O-L-Y-N-W-I-L-L-I-S. <laughs> I just got C A R O L Y N Willis W I L L I S. Okay. And how long have you been working in Indianola? I have been working in Indianola since 2012. Do you feel safe here? Yes, relatively safe here. Well, if it's something you want to change about it, what would you change about Indianola? Um. What would I change about Indianola? Not really changes, but improvements. Yeah, improvements. Um, improvements to the um, community would include more recreation for um, young people, especially those that are um, ages 8 through 18. Um, I think they need more outlets aside from those that are provided in the school, maybe providing some um, sort of league sports like um, Little League Baseball, um, some soccer leagues. Um, the other thing that I would change is, uh, and I know you're males, but more of a um, female focus, especially as it applies to um, exercise. Most of the time our girls only get an opportunity when it comes to basketball or baseball, and so more focus on uh, females. The other thing that I would focus on is um, improving, because of the work that I do, um, teen pregnancy and really doing some things to address teen pregnancy. I believe that if you're able to make the link between activities for young people, you decrease the amount of teenage pregnancies that happen. Um, the other thing that I would like to address is um, perhaps looking at some property improvement, especially in the downtown area and the area along A2. Um, sometimes when it comes to how people perceive the community, they look at the number of buildings that are boarded up and that kind of thing. And so just kind of some beautification projects. And I know that the mayor and his office um, have started on some of that, but rather than it being just a one-time thing to keep it in um, all year and to involve young people in the process because sometimes when young people are able to um, become involved that makes them proud of their communities and the way that they view things and so those are just a few of the things that I would improve. That was great. <laughs> uh, what brought you to Sunflower County? Well um, I work in Sunflower County because um, I feel really connected with the work that is going on through the Indianola Promise community. I actually left from private sector work and came into public service work because I want to make a difference in my community. Um, Indianola has a unique opportunity through some of the initiatives through Indianola Promise community as well as Sunflower County United for Children and I want it to be a part of that work. Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. Um, you you want to change something in your work, like like your work, you got having problems in your work. Um, so. Well, you know, when I first started working for Delta Health Alliance, I had more of a connection to people, and now that I have moved in a different um, direction, I don't get a chance to see you guys as much as I would love to be able to work with young people. And so if there was anything that I would change in my work, it's more of the community-based aspect and being able to do just what we're doing now, talking with young people about what they view as some of the issues and working with young people to make sure that those issues are addressed. I think that's where the real work takes place, is being able to connect, to connect with people that really want changes in the community. And so if I could change anything for me personally, it would be that grassroots really working with people to develop practices and to develop the skill sets of young people. More programs um, that address that. Um, do they have like this going down in Greenwood? No. You really have a unique opportunity in um, Indianola and Sunfire County. Um, there are smaller efforts in Greenwood, but not to the magnitude of the work that's being done in Indianola. There isn't, I don't think, anything that exists in the Delta that is as unique as what is being provided in Indianola. 
So do you think things are the same as how it used to be? Or things are bad now? I can see changes, but change happens at a slower pace in our area. I can see those changes um, just based on uh, when I came into Indianola and Sunflower County in 2012, I came in with the school under conservatorship. That has changed, and I think it is um, for the better that you now have a seated school board and a superintendent that are able to make things happen at the local level rather than them being pushed at the state level. I can also see more of the um, social changes happening in Indianola just by virtue of some of the uh, things that are provided, like books for young children through Imagination Library, um, like the um, people in the community being more in tune to what is happening in the community and trying to make those steps. But again, those are small steps and they're happening kind of at a slow pace, but I can see some changes happening. Yeah, well, that's, that's all you got. Well, thank you for your time. We really appreciate it. You helped us a lot.